or Trouble in Paradise 2 for the world's most valuable company, Apple. It was revealed this week that it uses a secret tax haven, the English Channel Island of Jersey. Apple currently has $252 billion of untaxed cash outside the US. The Paradise Papers alleged that back in 2013, Irish officials under huge international pressure closed the tax loophole and so Apple legally made new arrangements in Jersey. Apple says it pays every dollar it owes in every country in the, around the world. Now in today's on-demand instant digital world, many libraries have to shrug off their stuffy and silent image. Qatar's new National Library opened this week. And as well as books, it has computers, a kid's zone and coffee. It's all part of the country's effort to refocus its economy. Rob Matheson reports. When emotions are reduced to emojis and a handful of tweeted letters scattered across the internet can inspire the world or plunge it into despair, words have weight and print is still powerful. If you recall that the first word in the Quran is read, I think that that's really going to be uh, leading the people to use this library to, to operate and to understand the resources in a region, in a country that has a long tradition of loving the written words. This is Qatar's new national library. These shelves can hold around 1.2 million books. Racks of history, fiction and reference sit alongside computers, music studios, 3D printers, stages for musical and theatre performances, and on a lower floor out of direct sunlight, ancient texts for researchers to study. This is the Heritage Library. It's got over 26,000 printed books, over 4,000 manuscripts. It's got over 30,000 photographs and over 1,200 maps. But the staff here at the library know that if they want it to be a success, they have to appeal to a different type of reader as well, children. To do that, they're banishing what used to be a basic requirement in libraries, silence. We think of our library as um, a noisy place. So it's a noisy children's library, and we encourage children to express themselves however they feel. We believe in learning through play, and this is why you can find a lot of toys here in the library that support their cognitive development, in addition to their love of reading. Since the 1970s, Qatar's economy has been driven by its vast oil and gas reserves, but eventually those will start to shrink. The new Qatar National Library is part of a plan to move the economy to one based largely on knowledge and education. Well, this is a tremendous investment, and it's an investment not just in this building, but it's an investment in education and research for the country. And I think it's got a huge role to play in creating the next generation of, of readers, students, uh, and we hope leaders too. For the staff of the new National Library, the printed word, either real or in cyberspace, is key to 